morning, good morning, good morning to you, Heartbeat Nation. Good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Eva. How are you this morning? Hope all is well with you and the family. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Lisa. Thank you for the stars on yesterday. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Hey, Heartbeat Bernice. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Belinda. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Lisa. How you doing? Good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Aaliyah. Hope you had a happy birthday on Sunday. <laughs> good morning. You're doing great. That's excellent. Hey, Heartbeat Elaine, Heartbeat Donald. Hey, Heartbeat Rodney and Heartbeat Carolyn. Heartbeat Carolyn. Hey, Heartbeat Nicole. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning to you guys. And welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, a.k.a. the Heart Gatherer. Good morning, Heartbeat Melodia and Heartbeat Alicia. Good morning. Glad you had a great birthday. Good morning. The daily dosage for today is a continuation, setting boundaries with yourself. And so yesterday we talked about setting boundaries with food and we talked about getting our healing back and keeping it, maintaining it, continuing on in wholeness because that is what God wants. He wants us all whole. He wants us healed. Amen. And so the second boundary setting for yourself that we're going to talk about on today is getting some rest. Stop staying up so late. Get some rest. Psalm 127.2, and I'm reading it in the King James Version. It says, it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. He giveth his beloved sleep. The message says it like this. It's useless to rise early and to go to bed late and work your worry fingers to the bone. Don't you know he enjoys giving rest to those he loves? You have got to get some rest. I told you uh, one time that I had a lot going on and I really didn't get any sleep that night. And when I woke up that morning to pray, you know, I was like, oh, what's up? I didn't get any sleep, you know, and his response to me was you didn't take it because I give you sweet sleep every night. And I made a point from that day forward that I would never give up a gift that God has given me. He said, for those he loves, he gives us sleep. He gives us rest. He gives us sweet sleep. You know, he says, those who are heavy, heavy laden, he says, come to me that I may give you rest. And so we've got to learn how to rest. You know how in the beginning, how God created, but then he also took a day of rest. That is how we get rejuvenated. That is how the body heals. The body heals when you are resting. You know, um, studies show that we should lay down at about 10 p.m. every night because when you begin to lay down at 10, when you're in the bed, you begin to rest. It allows your body to go through a cycle of resting before you drift off to sleep. And so we've got to learn how to get rest. If we're not resting, this is how we miss, you know, when God is telling us something, our discernment is off. That is how we allow the enemy in because we're not getting enough rest. And so when I rest, I'm more alert. When I rest, I'm able to make better decisions. When I rest, I can hear the Holy Spirit. There's no static in the line. But when I don't allow my body to rest, I open up the door for sickness. I open up the door to have a bad attitude. I open up the door to miss instructions and directions from God. And although I may have been guilty of that today, but today I can switch my brain. Today I can renew my mind. Today I can be transformed and renewing my mind that I may be able to discern that good thing that is pleasing to God and perfect to God. And so don't beat yourself up if you've been guilty of staying up and not getting enough rest. 
It's okay. That's why God is so good. He allows us to repent. As soon as the, we see the word, hear the word, and understand the word, we can be changed into the word. Don't allow the enemy to keep you in condemnation. God allows you to turn around as soon as you hear the word and it pricks your heart and you realize that that scripture is speaking to you. And so that's all you have to do. You can start tonight. Get in the bed at a reasonable hour so that your body can rest, your mind can rest, your emotions can rest, and now everything, your body can begin to heal. Remember, the goal is wholeness, and we want wholeness in every area of our lives. And if we're going to walk this thing and do this thing how God wants us to do it, we've got to follow the blueprint that he has given us, and we've got to start to get rest. You can only do so much in one day. Let's not worry about tomorrow. Let's just get done what we can get done today. Congratulate yourself that you got done whatever it is that you got done today. Get some rest tonight. Start over tomorrow with the new day that God is going to give you on the, in the morning. And know that you're going to be productive tomorrow and the next day too. For God gives us grace for the day that we're in. He tells us don't even worry about the next day. So you've got to even allow your mind to rest. Let your mind stay in today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Enjoy today. This is the day that God has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. See, when we jump into tomorrow and the next day and the next day, we don't even rejoice in this day that God has given us. So you've got to follow the example of Jesus. Jesus got rest. Like I said, God, when he created the world at the beginning, he rested. And so we've got to learn how to rest. Um, I'm going to go over some other boundaries. I just wanted to talk about those two because eating and rest are very important. So we've got to set some boundaries with those. If you missed yesterday, you've got to go back and watch the um, one yesterday about eating. I did a prayer for those who need healing. Um, other boundaries that you may need to set for yourself are sticking to your budget if you have one. Sticking to that making sure that you are spending what needs to be spent and not overspending, making sure that you are tithing because when you tithe, it says that God will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't even have room enough to receive. It says that the tithe rebukes the devourer, amen? And so you wanna make sure that you set boundaries. You know, don't spend, you know, um, our parents, used to say this, don't spend all your money in one place, spread it out a little bit. So make sure that you're not overspending. This is how it ends up that you have more month than money because you don't set boundaries on what you're going to spend. Amen. Um, set boundaries on the hours that you watch television. You know, that could be some time that you are spending with God. You know, the more time you spend with God, the more time he'll spend with you and he'll begin to tell you more about you. He'll give you even more strategic plans on how to live the abundant life that he came for. So, you know, just, you know, just, just cut down on the entertainment and um, get your uh, life, your spirit spiritual life closer with God. Enhance, that's the word I'm looking for. Enhance your spiritual life with God. Spend time with him. Um, you know, another thing you may want to set boundaries in is participating in gossip. Be it you are the one that's telling it or you're listening to it. Let's spend more time evangelizing. Let's spend more time telling others about God, how he changed your life, how Jesus came into your life and your life has never been the same, how falling in love with Jesus, it's been the best thing that you've ever done. If you want to spread something, spread the gospel. Anyway, we're too old for that anyway. It's time to get out of that life and let's do what we were created to do. We were created to praise and lift God. And so let's 
Let's spend more time evangelizing versus gossiping. Let's spend more time praying for people than talking about people. Remember, we're renewing our minds and we aren't doing the things that we used to do because it got us nowhere. And so we want to move forward in the things of God. We're moving. We're not looking back. We're moving forward in all of the things of God. Another thing that we want to do is... um. Setting boundaries on not working past a certain hour. You know, a lot of people are still working from home. Don't get so caught up in your job that you forget about your family, that you are a wife, that you are a husband, that you are a mother, that you are a father, you are a sister, a aunt, a grandmother. Don't put your, your job before your family. I can tell you that when you leave this earth, your job will be filled the same day that you close your eyes. Make sure you are focusing on your family. That is the first ministry in life, your family. Another thing we want to set boundaries on, um, not answering work emails on the weekends. You have got to live your life. You have got to enjoy your life. I tell people all the time, you only have one life and you've got to live it to the fullest. So enjoy your life. Stop answering work emails on the weekends weekend. Guess what? They'll be there on Monday. So you've got to set boundaries, set boundaries with your employer. I'm not telling you to do anything crazy and lose your job. But what I am saying is you have got to set boundaries in every area of your life that you may enjoy your life. See, your job should be a job that you enjoy because you go there and you're able to still spread the gospel however you do it. But, you know, we've got to learn how to work smart and not hard. And so set boundaries, even with work, um, set boundaries on, um, Buying what's on your shopping list. You know, some of us have favorite stores and you can go into Target, Target. You say in your mind, you're going for one thing. And before you know it, you have a shopping cart full of stuff. You say you're getting on Amazon to buy one thing. And before you know it, five, six, seven boxes are showing up at your door. You say you're only going into Costco for one thing. And before you know it, you have a cart full of things. So learn to set boundaries even when you're shopping because this goes back to watching your spending so that you can have what the Bible says, wealth and riches live in your house, no longer having more month than money. And so you want to set boundaries. We just talked about getting rest. So having a bedtime, having a wake up time, setting boundaries for that, you know, setting boundaries for how much caffeine you put in your body, you know, stop relying, you know, on coffee to keep you up and keep you alert and just take your little self to sleep at night and get rest and live off of the spirit, live off the Holy Ghost, have the energy from the presence of the Lord that you've been in. So we want to, you know, have boundaries with how much we eat out, you know, set a boundary. I'm only eating out two or three times a week, whatever it is that fits your financial lifestyle. And then we want to set boundaries on how much time we hang out, <laughs> how much time we hang out on social media. Okay, I am not looking in your window, heartbeat, Anita. This is the Holy Spirit loving you, coming to get you. Amen. And so we want to set boundaries on how much time, that is funny, heartbeat, Anita, how much time we spend on social media. If any of these things, if all of these things came and knocked on your door, that's a great thing because that just shows the love of God, how much he loves you and how much he's trying to bump you back into alignment that you may be in position to receive breakthrough, that you may be in position to receive all of his blessings that he has for you, and that you may be in position to move forward. Amen. Well, listen, that's your daily dosage, setting boundaries with yourself, part two. We're going to continue on in this um, on tomorrow so that we will be right, we will be in alignment, and we will be in position to receive everything that God has for us. If you have not subscribe to the YouTube channel, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, godwantsmewhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. God wants me whole and I am getting whole 
by the minute. I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. I love you guys a whole bunch. Go out there and have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And I see that a couple people said, thank you. You are so welcome. It is truly my pleasure to serve God's people. Again, I love you guys a bunch and I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. as we continue on in this thing, setting boundaries with yourself. See you in the morning.